And we have Chet from Mesquite on the line. Hello, Chet. Hello? You think you're so smart. Hello? Why are you always talking about drugs and and niggers and, 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 and homos and Jews? Isn't there anything else to talk about? You know what I hate, Chet? I hate people who call me up and tell me what they don't want to talk about. You don't want to talk about blacks and gays? Then why do you bring them up in the first place, huh? Sounds to me like you like talking about them. If you don't want to talk about them, then tell me what you want to talk about or get off the phone. So why don't you start telling the truth, Barry? About what? You know... People behind your show, the people who pay the bills. Talking about the sponsors now. Don't you act dumb with me. What kind of a name is she? Anyway? Listen, I want you to cancel my plane reservations for tonight. Why? Um, I'm gonna come Maybe in tomorrow. And, uh, call Freddy. Jewish. Tell him to, name, to, to call me tomorrow. Job, same old story. Well, yeah, yeah, come on. He started out. Uh, your attitude the whole thing started a out a bit story. shaky. Last summer, I visited Germany. Never had been there. Wanted to take a look at Hitler's homeland. Are you familiar with Adolf Hitler, Chet? I'm familiar with Adolf Hitler. I bet you are. I decided to visit the remains of a concentration camp on the outskirts of Munich, Dachau. You join a tour group, go out by bus, everyone gets out at the gates, it's rather chilling. A sign over the gate says, Arbeit macht frei, it means work will make you free. Something the Nazis told their prisoners. You still listening to me, Chet? I'm counting your lies. Good, I want to make sure you're hearing them anyway. So here I am walking around this concentration camp and I see something on the ground. I picked it up. Guess what I found, Chet? A tiny Star of David. Very old. Who knows, it might have belonged to one of the prisoners of the camp. Maybe a small boy torn from his parents as they were dragged off to the slaughterhouse. I kept that Star of David. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. I keep it right here on my console. I like to hold it sometimes. In fact, well, uh, I'm holding it right now. I like to hold it in my hand to give me courage. Maybe some of the courage that that small boy had as he faced unspeakable evil can enter me as I face the trials in my own life. As I face the cowardly and the narrow-minded, the bitter, bigoted people who hide behind anonymous phone calls full of hatred and poisonous bile. The gutless, spineless people like you, Chet, who make me puke. Keep talking, Jew boy. Life is short. 